I use PowerPoint extensively to create my presentations and infographics. However, I always struggle to create interactive and engaging quiz in PowerPoint. Some time back, the team from iSpring approached me to test their product, uh, which is called the iSpring Suite 10. And when I started using that one, believe me, it's so simple. Within minutes, I can able to create interactive, engaging quiz. I have never imagined that that is going to be so simple. So let me just show you how the quiz look like in uh, iSpring. First of all, I have created uh, some slides here. You can see here, this is the question one. And then some different multiple choice there, some match the following and the fill in the blanks and then you have to drag and drop the object to the right position so this particular questions i have converted into quiz interactive and engaging using the iSpring so let me just show you how it looks like in iSpring so let me just go here uh, to the slide where i've created the quiz then i'm going to the iSpring suite 10 and here i'm going to preview the quiz before i publish that one so let me just show you how it looks like uh, when i click the preview it will take uh, less than five to ten seconds and then it will start the quiz So here you can see here this is the quiz so now let me just go and show you the actual one which is here and you can see here this is the one background image i have added and i've called the general knowledge quiz for students and click to start quiz button to proceed and i've used one background image which i've downloaded from the icepring suite itself and this is you can see here you can use this quiz in any uh, device whether it's a laptop or a tablet or you're using the mobile phones word landscape or portrait format whichever way it will fit you can see here so it's so uh, easy and very useful so let me just start the quiz now when i click the start the first question comes the entomology in the science that studies the formation of rocks whatever so i'm going to give the uh, question the right answer i'm just going to select that one and once i select that one i need to click the submit button and then the system will tell you whether the answer is right or wrong so i have just created this very simple i have not used any images so let me just show you the second question the second question is you can see here the Eritrea which became the 182nd member of the UN in 1990 is in the continent of so I have put the world map here and then I can choose the any right answer from this one you can see here I'm going to choose Africa and then submit again you can see here this is the right answer let me just continue now then this is the match the following so i need to just match it for example the zebra crossing is nothing but i will just say that uh, cross the road and then cut on the skin i'm going to click and do this one or for maybe i have made it wrong i'm going to select this one and then nose bleeding i'm going to click on this now when i submit it says that you did not choose the correct response please try again that means you can give multiple attempts as well here you want to give multiple attempts of one two or three times depending on your requirement so i'll just say try again and then i'm going to do the correction so this one nose bleeding i'm going to make it cut on the screen on this one and then apply bandage so you can see here still i have not done it correctly so i have to do it now correct yes so now if i submit this one it says this is correct now continue and one more important thing here is you can drag and drop the objects for example i have given kind of a traffic signal lights you know so for the school kids they want to understand what's the green color and where they have to drag and drop for example now i know that this one it comes to the red this comes to the green and this comes to the orange and when i click submit it says that that you have 
chosen the right response and now you can see the result here also the u score 40 out of 40 or you can just go and click on the view results and it says that congratulations you have passed you score 100 points passing score was only 80 percent now if you want you can review the quiz or if you want you can see the detailed report as well so now let me just show you how i have created this quiz using the uh, ispring quiz master so you can add or create a new presentation and then first thing is you need to save the presentation so i'm just going to save as and then i'm saying that this is for the student quiz and you can see here once you download the ispring suite uh, this will be integrated with the powerpoint so once you click on this one you have got a wide variety of features so you can record the audio record the videos you can do the quiz some interactions dialect simulation so many things are there you can change the background add different characters so first let me just show you how to create the quiz and then we will see uh, some different options later on so i'm going to click on the quiz and this will create or open the iSpring quiz master you have got two options whether you can create a graded quiz or you can create the survey and if you want more additional information always you can go and watch the video tutorials you can communicate with the community if you have some questions you can ask the questions and if you need any support you can just get the support very quickly in iSpring I have done so many times and they gave me a very quick uh, reply to my queries so let me just create the graded quiz so I'm just going to click here you can see here graded quiz and once I click here you can see here this is the iSpring quiz master you have got two different views the form view and the slide view so let's understand what do you mean by form view and slide view later on before that one let me just show you what are the some important features now when i click on the questions you can see here you have got 14 different types of questions available here to create the quiz like multiple choice multiple response true false short answers matching sequence you can see here drag and drop hotspot okay then essay uh, and then you can just use this scale option so many things are available here so and before that one we i need to give some introduction uh, to the quiz all right so for that we need to create a introduction slide or if you want you can create some additional information you can see here you can create the intro slide or you can create the user info or you can create the instruction slide or all three can be created also so let me just create the intro slide first when i click the intro slide you can see here this is one group has been created first of all called the intro group and then you need to give the intro slide so now i'm going to say that i'll just say general knowledge or you can just type paste and type also or you can copy and paste also general knowledge quiz for students all right and then what happens here is uh, here you cannot do any changes or any formatting whatsoever in that case you need to go to the slide view just click the slide view. you can see here uh, the general knowledge for quiz now if you want you can make it bold you can change the color all right or if you can if you want you can just fill this with some other color and then I'm going to make this as a font as white. So it's up to you. And moreover, you can go and insert some pictures also or backgrounds. For example, if I want to use a background, I'm just going to click on the background and you've got wide variety of backgrounds to choose from. So you can see here, I go to the education and then I'll scroll down. So I'll see which suits my requirement maybe this i'm going to choose this one or this one and click insert you can see here a background image has been added here and then this is not visible so i'm going to bring this down or you can make this as well a white you can see a fill with white 
all right so now it's visible so this is my intro slide so this is how i change in the slide view again when you go to the form view you you it looks similar but if you want to do any modification any changes always go to the slide view and do the changes so once you have uh, uh, created the intro slide or the user info or instruction slide now it's time to create the questions so here the question group i have selected this question group if you want you can create the multiple question groups also if you are a teacher and you like to take multiple subjects like math science or social different groups you can just create it but let me just uh, uh, show you with this uh, question group so first of all i'm going to add a question here and my first question would be a multiple choice so i'm just going to click it here and you can see here this is the multiple cho uh, choice question and then you need to provide your answer and then you need to uh, take which one is your right answer and then uh, what is the response or feedback if the uh, the student makes it uh, right or make it wrong so that response also can be uh, customized so now let me just put the question here i said that entomology is the science that studies for example i'm going to say uh, say about rocks i'm saying about uh, say about insects or i'm going to talk about say humans just for example all right and i need to choose the right answer you can see here you need to just go and choose the right answer here okay and apart from that one when you are uh, typing the question you can always add the picture or a video or uh, audio also so if the requirement is there you can just go and add it and moreover you can see here you can add the images for the answers also all right and if you like to add one more you just need to click a uh, type a new one here for example and i'll just say that this is for animals i'm just going to say all right that's it so i've got four answers four options and then this is the right answer as i said the feedback and branching if it is correct what's the feedback if it is incorrect what is the feedback and then if you want if it is correct it should go to the next slide or if you finish the quiz so depending on your requirement you can just choose the options okay so once this is done come to the slide options so here as i said the question type either you want to do a graded quiz or a survey so we are going to with the the graded quiz and then the feedback you want the feedback to be provided or you just don't need to show the feedback so it's up to you depending on the requirement so i'm just going to do that one branching also the same thing is by result or by choice the score you can see here that one and attempts number of attempts you would like to make for this uh, uh, question so you can see here it's unlimited till that he made it right you can make it uh, you can he can attempt it but uh, generally maybe we'll make it only one and then if you like to put some time restrictions then in that case you need to tick this one and by default it is one minute and if you want you can increase or decrease depending on the requirement and apart from that one if you like to shuffle the answers every time the answer should uh, shuffle in that case you need to tick this once so once this is done my first question is completed now i would like to add another one so in that case i have to go again to the questions and for example i'm going to make it a drag and drop so now when i make a drag and drop it says that add two or more shapes in the slide view i cannot do anything here i have to go to the slide view first so click on the slide view and do whatever the objects which you need to draw or copy or paste or images we need to work on the slide view so now i'm going to make a kind of a traffic signal point of view and then i'm going to insert some shapes and if you have a image of a traffic signal you can just simply add that one or let me just show you with this one i'm going to make a uh, first of all a rectangle all right you can see here i'm going to make a rectangle like this and you can like powerpoint you can change the color fill different color whatever and shape outline if you can make it no outline it's up to you then go to insert shapes i'm going to add one oval shape with the color red and if the color is not very visible you can just go to the more fill colors and then i can just choose the red color and i don't need the outline and then i'm going to add 
one more shape so again i'm going to shapes i'm going to make it uh, this time uh, orange color again shape outline no outline shape fill more fill colors i'm going to use the orange color and then i'm going to make one more the last one which is the green color so let me just make a green color and then here shape outline no outline shape fill and then i'm going to choose the green color you can see here and now let me just arrange depending on the requirement and then i'm going to add three more shapes where uh, the students has to drag and drop the right color into the boxes so i'm going to make it a uh, somewhat big okay you can see here shape outline you can keep the same color or shape fill i'm going to make it more light color and then here i'm going to make the font color as black and i'm going to just say this is as orange if you want you can increase the size or if you want you can reduce the size of the font okay so once this is done i'm going to add two more shapes all right and this one i'm going to make it as say same color which is this one and then let me just make this as green and here one more which i'm going to insert now and let's do this part and this will be same color and i'm going to make it say red and it's not visible i have to just change the font color so you can see here now once this my uh, slide view is ready now what i'm going to do is i'm going to the form view now in the form view you can see here you can have a different object so first of all choose what you want to drag and choose where you want to drop it for example i would like to uh, drag the red one which is oval and drag it to the box which is red okay then i'm going to choose the oval two which is the orange and drag it to the orange and then it's a green drag it to the green all right so like this you can do this one and then with this drag and drop you have got some other options available also snap and drag item to any drop target or correct drop target or don't snap so for example i'll just say don't snap okay and then let me just uh, preview that one so i can just go and click the preview here and once i preview you can see here the first intro slide comes general knowledge quiz for students start quiz says the entomology is the science that studies what i'm going to make it as a insects so you can see here uh, this is the right answer now when i click submit it says that this is the right response continue then it's asked me to take the second one and drag and drop the objects to the right places for example if i make it some wrong then it tells me that i have made it wrong incorrect response and view result and say you did not pass the passing score is 80 percent and if you like you can just review the quiz so this is so simple creating the quizzes in uh, i spring quiz master so some more features are there for example you can import the questions if you have uh, uh, created the questions in excel format then you can simply go and select the excel file and import the pictures directly sorry the quiz uh, the questions directly here and apart from that one once you know that okay the, the quiz has been done then you need to click the save and close to course you can see here save and return to course and once this is done i can go and publish this one so when i click the publish i've got wide variety of options where i can save is first of all if you like to publish to your local computer you can publish it either there are two options you can do it in html file or in the video format and which folder where you want to save you can just browse it and save it and then if you are using the ispring suite uh, 10 max and then in that case you can use the ispring space uh, to uh, 
host this quiz and then you can just send this link to the students and then they can uh, access the quiz uh, from any device from any place you can see here and then you have got some uh, the profile and different things are there and then this is called the iSpring Learn and then you have got the LMS if your company using any LMS that is learning management uh, software then you can use this as a SCOM uh, a video and then you can just publish that one so for example I'm just going to publish to my computer and just click on the publish it will take not less than a minute or uh, less than a minute to uh, complete this uh, process so once this is done you can just share the link and and you can see here uh, the publishing is completed the course student quiz has been published successfully you can open it you can email it you can send it through the FTP or you can zip it and uh, send it so if I just click on the view course you can see here I can just take this quiz or I can just send this link so after publishing the quiz uh, I recommend you to click the save and then close the file and once uh, if you like to edit the uh, the quiz and you like to add more questions in that case you need to go and open the quiz once again then go to the iSpring suite tan and click on the quiz and it says that click the quiz button to edit this object so if I just click it here then it will take me uh, through again to the quiz master so you can see here and if you'd like to add uh, more uh, questions i can add if i want to delete that one simply i can right mouse click and remove it or if i want to make it up and down it's up uh, depending on your requirement you can just uh, do that one so uh, once you add all the, the other things and again make sure to click the save and return to course you can see here something like this so that's it from my side thank you so much